I've never been one to say I told you so. Hi, I'm Chuck Vosberg from Next Home Gulf to Bay. Along with my wife, Pat, we're your favorite realtors. And today, I've got the new stats. And the stats for here, here in the Tampa Bay area in Florida are continuing on the path that we've been seeing for the past several months. Things are going up, up, up. So let's start off with the numbers. I'll give you the numbers. I'll show you the stats. And then I'll tell you what it means to you if you're a seller or a buyer right now in the Tampa Bay market. So let's start off with the numbers. Sales are up 1.3% compared to this time last year. The inventory of available houses that you can buy right now is up 5.3% compared to this time last year. The number of days to contract is up 10% at 11 days, which is still mighty fast. And here's the big news. The median price for a home here in the Tampa Bay area is $480,500. That's another new record. We've been setting records month after month here. And just to kind of remind you, it was $460,000 last month. So now let's kind of break it down because when you take a look at these numbers and you look at the year over year, that doesn't really tell the whole picture. So let's take a look at this chart. Now the year over year numbers are one thing, but month after month shows a better picture of what's going on. So this is the last 18 months, just like I show you every time. And we'll start off with the inventory. You can see that last month it dropped dramatically. And, you know, a lot of times people will see something like that and be like, aha, see, but one data point does not make a trend. You can see it recovered right back to where it was this month. So that's an anomaly. And when you look at the blue line below, the median price, it's following the trend that's been set. Now, here's what it means to you. First of all, Hey, I've been in this business for nine years now, and Pat's been in the business for much longer. And the whole time I've been in this business for nine years, I've got people who are still waiting for the real estate crash. And it's just not happening. There's two reasons. First of all, when you see the national news, the national news has never applied to Florida. Florida is different, and even within this state, even within this city, there's very distinct differences because real estate is hyper local. So if you're a seller, this means that you'll be able to get your house under contract very quickly, assuming it's priced appropriately. And if you're a buyer, it means that we're going to have to act quickly to get you the house that you want. And there's chances are there's going to be multiple offers. Well, that's what we've been seeing with our listings. We're getting multiple offers. So my advice is when you're making an offer, if you're a buyer, is to take your best shot and just go with that because you're not going to get a second chance. They're not going to come back and ask for, well, you know, we're, we're going to give you a chance to raise your offer if you want. That's not going to happen. So take your best shot. That's that. If you're a seller, well, you're you're going to get full retail value for your house. That's that's a given. And that's just the way it is right now and it's going to continue. It's just that the inventory is so low that it's going to take a very long time to catch up even if things started going that direction and they're not. So they have to start going the right direction first and then it's going to take a long time after that. So if you're waiting for the market to crash, it's, it's not happening anytime in the foreseeable future. So you might as well stop waiting because what's happening is every day that you wait, houses are getting more expensive. And I know what you're thinking. Well, I'm waiting for the interest rates to go down. Well, consider this. The interest rate's only one variable. The interest rate and the price of the house are two different things. So every month that you wait, you're losing out on gained equity, which is gained wealth. You're missing out on pricing because the price is continuing to go up. So take those things into account. If you've got questions, we'll sit you down. Let's do some math. Let, let's take a look at it and see what your options are. 
If you've got any questions, you just let us know. Don't worry, we, we're not going to pressure you into anything or try and sell you on any ideas. We put humans over houses. So thanks for watching, and I hope you're having a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.